hey guys welcome back to my channel today i decided to keep it a little bit laid back and do a little get ready with me today is actually a weekday there's really no fancy occasion for me to get ready i thought it would be fun to just do a little like sit down get ready with me like we're on facetime what i normally like to do in the mornings especially after waking up i like to use my jade roller and i don't know if it really does anything to be honest i feel like it does help to like depuff my face and like my under eyes as you can see i have like this robe string on my hair i decided to do like heatless curls like overnight using a robe and i've seen this all over tiktok i don't know i'm gonna leave it in while i do my makeup and everything and then once i'm done with everything that then i will take it out and we'll see how it looks in the end if you guys want to see like a tutorial of how i did it i'll insert the tiktok video that i made yesterday on here i'm gonna try doing heatless curls with my robe string you can see my hair is already naturally curly but i really wanted to make it more defined and want my curls to stay curly overnight so first i'm just using one united all-in-one multi-benefit treatment from redken just make sure your hair is a little bit damp we are going to put this over and i'm going to use a clip to like secure it so it doesn't slip oh my god i look crazy I'm going to wrap it around grab more hair as you go once we reach the bottom i'm gonna secure it with a scrunchie i think that's good oh my god it actually looks kind of cute other side when you get to the bottom just keep twisting it up until the very end securing it with another scrunchie i think scrunchies are healthier for your hair than like normal elastics <laughs> and i have no idea what to do with these but i've seen people like tie it up I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. Um, maybe I'll like tuck it in here. If you guys want to see the final results? Make sure to follow because I will be posting a video tomorrow showing you guys how it turns out. I just created a new TikTok account because I really just wanted to start from scratch. So if you guys want to go give it a follow, go support me, go like my videos. I've been trying to post at least once a day all about like girly things like girly tips, makeup, and skincare, and get ready with me. I also have been posting a lot of like lifestyle related content on there as well, like advice. If you are new here, hi, my name is Sarah. This isn't like the best first impression but if you enjoy this video and enjoy content like this hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up first i'm just gonna go wet my beauty blender i'm going to start off with using the elf halo glow i've been liking like the glow that it gives me under my makeup while i sit down and do my makeup i thought it would be fun to get to know me i feel like not that many people really know much about me and i thought it would just be fun to like kind of spill the tea and expose myself on the internet i was actually born in canada my parents my mom is mexican and my dad is from el salvador i'm like spanish I am 21, which is crazy. Like what? I'm gonna be using the House Labs concealer. My birthday is September 11th, 2002. I know it's a depressing day. Pink, obviously. What kind of question is that? If you didn't know that already, I've been living under a rock. I went through phases when I was younger where I was like against pink because I didn't want to be like a girly girl because like I don't know why that was like frowned upon. So then I was like, okay, purple is going to be my favorite color. I never really liked blue or purple. Like pink was always my color, you know. My favorite day of the week would probably be Saturday or Friday. Fridays are exciting because it's like the last day of the week. So it gets you like excited for the weekend. Then Saturday is also the best day because you don't have anything to do on Saturdays and you can just like relax. I am actually actually really short if one of you guys were to meet me in real life you would probably be like oh my god you're so short i didn't know you were gonna be that short i'm five feet like barely everyone is taller than me i don't know anyone who is actually i've only met one person that was like the exact same height as me besides my sister everyone is always taller than me so, by the way i was using the rare beauty blush in shade happy i am in a relationship i've been with my boyfriend for like, since I was like 15 years old so it's been like six years we we're literally high school sweethearts and i do live with him i moved out of my parents house when i was 19 i believe because 
we both go to the same university really didn't want to live in dorms also keep in mind like i started university during the pandemic i kind of skipped out on all the traditional dorms and all that but at the same time i kind of didn't really want to now that i live in my apartment i'm still glad that i didn't live in a dorm okay wait i'm gonna ask on instagram i highly doubt people are gonna answer right away because like literally no one replies to me I'm just gonna put the Milani blush. This is in Dolce Pink. I also have this one, that Rose Doro, which is like a rose gold. But I don't know why I've been into like the bright pink. Some people are like, oh my God, you're like obsessed with your beauty. But I literally am happy, hope, the highlighter <laughs> the eyeliner and i have this blush too which this one is nearly rose do i need more probably not definitely not but do i want more yes i am very very particular when it comes to shows movies not as particular i think my top one would definitely be like old 2000s chick flicks movies i would say like those are my favorite but i do like comedy movies or like romantic movies shows it has to have drama but it has to have like good drama like it has to be binge worthy what i just did was use the hula bronzer by benefit and for my brows i forgot to you guys but i use the benefit goof proof brow pencil and the benefit gimme brow gel okay here's a good one why did you decide to start a youtube channel so if you didn't know i started my youtube channel in the summer i was contemplating it for so long i was contemplating it i was doing so much research on it kind of just afraid honestly i was just afraid of like judgment also like i didn't know what i wanted to do like i am in university and i'm studying political science and communications even if social media isn't something that i'm gonna go into it's still like a fun thing to do and it's something that could get me a lot of opportunities i didn't really think of it like that until i started talking to like my sister and my cousin and my family members i was like but what if nobody wants to like hire me or something because i have a youtube channel and like they might not like the types of videos i make and stuff like that and everyone was like no no, if anything they're gonna see like how determined and consistent you are and like i kind of just stopped feeling like ashamed or embarrassed about it and even now when people like ask me about it i thought i would be like embarrassed but i'm really not like if somebody asked me oh my god i saw your youtube video i get like so happy i'm like oh my god really like you saw my video first of all thank you for even watching it so happy that people are responding this way because i really i was really afraid when you're putting yourself online it's normal to receive hate and it's normal that people are gonna probably like make fun of you and i just don't really care anymore why not just do it like just try just post one video and if you like it then keep doing it you know but i just kind of fell in love with like the whole process of it like i see potential in it and with my communications degree i I've like learned so much more about that field and I am actually interested in working in like social media or like marketing and I really enjoy it so I know that it's something that I actually like it's not like it's not like you're studying for like years without really knowing if you really like what you're gonna do in the end and then you end up not liking it which is why i think if you are in school i definitely recommend try to like shadow someone so that way you kind of get like a little bit of experience and that way you can really decide if that's what you want to do okay and by the way i was just using the telescopic mascara from l'oreal i think i'm gonna do a little wing eyeliner with my oh my god wait i'm scared i'm gonna mess up Hold on, this takes a lot of concentration. Give me a second. So this eyeliner is so easy to use. I've been into reading lately. I've been loving this book, Icebreaker. Oh my gosh. I'm like a quarter in and... <clears throat> like, I get the hype. I get the hype now. But also, my sister crocheted like this cute little book sleeve for me if you guys want to buy it i'll put her instagram up here but it's so cute it like just protects my book and it's so aesthetic and i've been seeing it all over pinterest i also like to sing alone i never like to share my singing skills so don't ever ask me to sing in front of you because i will not like i'm too shy i can't 
bye also i'm using the charlotte tilbury uh, lip liner in pillow talk with the dior lip oil in cherry this is my new favorite lip combo line it right on the edge of where my lip starts and like that's it also the applicator is so like satisfying i'm only using it for the sake of the video because otherwise i would not be using it on the daily basis and i guess i will answer one last question okay here's a good one that i think really represents my personality based off of this <laughs> i think i'm ambivert i think i'm a mixture of both i was gonna say introvert because i feel like i'm more introvert but it depends because sometimes i am very outgoing but like around certain people like if it's around like my friends or people that i'm like comfortable with like i will become extrovert starting to get to know you i tend to be like introvert at first and like i'm a little bit shy at first like i don't like exposing myself to everybody even though i'm literally exposing myself on the internet in real life i'm like kind of shy at first like i'm not the extrovert type like I'm not the type that's just gonna like go up to you and like start a conversation unless like I really want to be your friend and like I, I want to get to know you then I will be like that very selective observant at first you know I need to like get to know you first see what kind of person you are first and then if I feel like comfortable with you and if you make me feel comfortable being myself then I will like dive in and I'm just like miss extrovert over here but it takes some time for me to like get to that level, which is why I think I am a mixture of introvert and extrovert. Anyway, I'm done with my makeup. I am now going to take off this, see what it looks like. I'm gonna film a little TikTok video. I'm nervous, I really want it to look nice. I'm gonna use the coconut oil from OGX and I'll have you guys looking at me from behind the scenes. If you watched my video yesterday, I posted me trying robe overnight curls and now let me show you the results. Okay, so I'm just gonna take it out. Ow, 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 ow. I'm pulling my hair, I shouldn't have done it like that. Out. <laughs> okay, I didn't think they were gonna be this tight. I thought they were gonna be a little bit looser. Okay. <laughs> Wait, but it looks so cute. If only my hair was longer though. The thing is like my hair when it's straight, it's literally down in here. Oh my God. No, this is way too curly. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna go like this to like... I just filmed my TikTok video and I fixed it. I literally just used my Revlon brush and just like twisting and like pulling down as I went. I know this was supposed to be heatless curls. There was no way I'm going out with my hair looking like that. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. It just looks like beachy waves now. So I think what I'll do is I'll just like keep them in these like twists for now until like they just finish like cooling off. Loki kind of disappointed in myself because I've seen other people doing it. My way was just a disgrace. Honestly, I think it's just because my hair, first of all, it was already really curly when I first did it. And second, I did them really tight when I was putting it in my hair. For my outfit, I kind of want to keep it very just classy because I'm only going to school. So I think I'm just going to wear this like black quarter zip. Of course, like it decides to snow after Christmas, like really. <laughs> and I think I'm going to wear my comfy jeans. These are my ultimate favorite. They're from Garage. They're the 90s straight jeans. <laughs> to smell fresh all day long. I like to use like normal deodorant. This one is the Dove Coconut and Pink Jasmine. And then I like to get like the matching spray deodorant with it. And you just like spray on top. This is like a second layer to it. So like you smell fresh all day. And then I'm gonna go in with my body mist. I always use a different body mist every day. <coughs> but today I'm using the brazilian crush 62 and yes i spray a lot this is like my fancy dancy perfume but you know since we're going to school i want to smell extra good so i'm just using like two sprays and i would show you guys my shoes but because it's snowing i'm gonna be wearing my winter boots anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this little get ready with me like we're on facetime i hope you got to know me a little bit better and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up so i know that i should make more videos like this and comment below 
some questions. So next time I do like a Q and A, I have some questions to answer of like things that you guys genuinely want to know. Don't forget to also comment below the lipstick emoji so I know that you've made it this far. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. With that being said, I will see you guys very soon. Bye.